Hi YouTube, this is Ashley Ashlock. I am doing a video tonight because someone requested a video in the comments about how often to wash your hair and how to wash your hair. I figured that I would talk about that this evening. So if you are just starting off your locks, whether or not you have the comb coils, um, two strand twist, braids, or however you're starting off your locks. My suggestion to you, despite what you might have heard from anyone, is to wash your hair. Doom, doom, doom. Water is your BFF in the locking process. So you should wash your hair. It's also good for your scalp and good for your face to prevent breakouts, etc. But I strongly suggest that you wash your hair. Now, how often you wash your hair will depend upon your lifestyle. If you are someone that's just cooped up in the house, not really doing much, um, and don't really have to deal with dust or any outside debris, I would say that you can go, um, for that initial wash, you can go three or possible four weeks before wash. If you're just really trying to keep that presentation of your locked process, even if you are going to semi-free form, it's still good um, somewhere between two to four weeks, depending upon how you are, how your lifestyle is. So this is how, if it's your very, like your first two months of washing, this is what I would suggest you do. So just have some um, baby, like the little scrunchies, like the little thin ones. And depending upon how short your hair is, you want to put these all around your hair. You just want to separate them out. This is before you're washing. I don't think I grabbed enough. Um, but yeah, the shorter your hair is, the more you will need. And the longer it is, then you won't need that much. But you just want to separate your hair out into about um, four to eight to ten. Just put the little bands on at the root just to kind of like have your hair separated out. So from here, this is for the very, very first month or two of washing your hair. So from here, you will add, um, if you have a stocking, you can cut the feet off the stocking or if you have um, one of those do-rags that don't have a, the back to it, or even if you have a regular do-rag, whatever you have that you're just, let me just demonstrate. I have a do-rag next to me, so that's what I'm gonna throw on my hair. Um, so you just, this wash is primarily going to focus on the scalp, and you're putting the ties on your hair to prevent a lot of merging of your hair. So this is when like the first couple of wash. So you just want to wash your hair. This is mostly for the scalp. So you put, um, for shampoo, I wash my hair two to three times during the washing cycle. I am a fan of having my hair feel really minty. So I, just so my scalp feels clean. So I use this OGX um, Tea Tree Mint Shampoo. I do this for like the first wash just so I know that my scalp is getting really clean and minty and tingly and then when I go in I like to have my hair have some type of smell to it so I this has been something I now for the mint I switch off depending upon what I use for the um, my first wash I usually I always pick a sulfate free shampoo um, I'm not very picky on which one I use because it's just like I said that initial wash your hair is not going to get that suzzy um, but the second wash it is. So with that one, this has been something that I have bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles and have used throughout from the beginning of my locking process till now. I just love the smell. Um, it's the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil and it has the Shea Butter, Peppermint and Apple Cider Vinegar. Now you can use this for both your washing cycles it's just that this is more expensive for me, kind of in a way. Um, so I will prefer a more cheaper sulfate-free shampoo for that first wash. But when I do twist my hair, I do use this on both the washes. 
but um, otherwise I use this as my second wash just so I have that smell like it has like that um, shea butter it doesn't smell like your typical Jamaican black castor oil it has a good um, like shea butter good type of smell to it so this is what I use to my second wash so back to your very first wash you have your starter locks and you want to wash your hair you have your hair separated out you wash your hair you're just focusing on the top because um, just know your hair is going to merge it's going to you know do whatever it does so after you take this out if you're going to not twist your hair just make sure you separate the roots individually go through each lock separate so that they do not um, merge and congle together unless you want them to would you go ahead so for each section you take out you just do that and you will have some sticking together because your hair is not as you go along with the locking process your hair will start to be trained um, to not merge as much but that's what I would suggest for the first six to eight weeks depending upon how often you wash your hair it shouldn't be more than two washes of needing that because or two to three washing if it depends on how often you're washing your hair and then after that you can go ahead and just start washing your hair as usual and like I said after each wash now what as I'm washing my hair um, I start from the back when that this is after I have already um, rinsed it out so I kind of do my separating in I start from the back let the water hit the back this is how I know my hair is all the way um, with all the soap out then I go to the next row let the water hit that part oh here's another scrunchie in there then I go that's how I do my separation and cleaning at the same time I just go through each row as to what I take it in the shower I wash my hair in the shower I find that it's easier for me so I just go and then I end the way in the front so I'm separating my hair out as I am doing that final washing getting the soap out so that's what I do now that I don't not that I do not need any type of scrunchies so that's just an easier thing to do it kills two birds in one stone you've already separated your hair don't have to worry about merging although within time um, you will probably have to move something around but for the most part you are separating your hair and you're making your hair not stick together you're just doing it during that washing process so now I wash my hair every week um, when I twist my hair I go two weeks otherwise I just wash my hair every week um, depending upon where you live you can possibly go up to like a month or so of not washing your hair it's just my scalp and my hair is trained to now being washed every week so it's just something I do but in the beginning even if they say don't wash your hair for the first four or six months do not do, follow that instruction wash your hair and as you wash your hair like I said you're gonna have the little pigtails on and as you're taking off the pigtail it's okay for your hair to detangle or come apart a little just go ahead and twist it back fix it back just that's the part your hair hasn't been trained yet to the locking process so that's perfectly normal if you're like if you have five six maybe even eight that came apart and you just have to go ahead and twist them back just go ahead and twist them back over the course of time your hair will have less that are un being coming undone because your hair is being trained to the locking process so don't be afraid to wash your hair wash your hair clean your hair clean scalp means clean healthy locks so yeah this is ash oh one more thing when you're done drying your hair when you are drying your hair use a black t-shirt um, or some type of whatever color your hair is I use black um, like a black t-shirt that way if any lint or something comes off it's black so it's not noticeable in your hair and I do not use conditioner when washing my hair because for the locking process that kind of counteracts you're trying to get your hair to lock and conditioning is more of a detangling. Um, now when I am done washing I do add oil in my hair. Um, after I let it dry I add the oil that's pretty much what I do for the seal in the moisture. So yes like comment subscribe if you have any questions and I have any topics for me to do a lock video in the big oil. Um, then feel free to leave it below and I will try to get that video out and thank you for the person who left that comment and here's the video hopefully this helps and this is Ashley Ashlock checking out
Peace.